plugged into the vacuum port. And this engine runs at 22 inch pounds of vacuum. Another thing I'd like to take notice of is it's out of normal operating range. Old school. So what is a vacuum? What does vacuum mean? Well, it sucks. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. And this engine does not have normal vacuum. Today we're doing a deeper dive in the technical service bulletin 2365. This service bulletin supersedes 192338 reason for update replace awareness interim message. Some 2018 to 2020 F-150 vehicles equipped with a 5 liter engine may exhibit excessive oil consumption due to high intake manifold vacuum during some deceleration fuel shutoff events resulting in oil being pulled into the combustion chamber from the crankcase, valve guides, positive crankcase ventilation, or PCV valve. To correct the condition, follow the service procedures, steps to reprogram the power control module. The PCM calibration reduces engine vacuum during some DFSO events. Keyword here being some. So they're not even saying it fixes the problem. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about the vacuum, the intake manifold vacuum. I was talking about this before this technical service bulletin actually came out. Oh, I wanted to show you something there, JT. I got a new screen share here. I did a vacuum test on my truck. Isn't that a nice sound an engine, JT? Wow. Step up the auto line, pull up back on the camera footage. I see V8 on it, is it? Yeah. It is. Oh, sorry. Recording. So there's the vacuum gauge there, JT. And here's the green spot's normal, right? Right. And it's way outside of normal. It's about 26 inch pounds of vacuum. 26? Yeah. God damn it. Normal. 12 was 12 was 12 to 22 was normal, I believe. Man, what part of the country are you in, man? What's, what's you above sea level, below sea level, man? We barely can get a. Wow. We barely I'm can running. get a. We barely can get eighteen, nineteen. Uh, you know, stabilized, right? You know. Uh, wow. So. So, high, high vacuum, is generally a sign of too much ignition timing. Oh. Extremely high vacuum. Wow. Mm. So, time, time and retarded, advanced. What do you mean? Too much advanced in the timing. Oh. Which my truck spark knocks like a bastard when you're climbing a hill. This is starting to feel like death by a thousand cuts. Sorry. Today we're picking apart the technical service bulletin 2365, which affects model years 2018, 2019, and 2020. So after all these years, Ford hasn't got, gotten around to fixing the problem. It appears to me that like they're only trying to conceal the problem. So before I digress too far, let's talk about uh, this part of the technical service bulletin where they mention some of these engines experience high intake manifold vacuum. Well, I'm going to digress here a little bit, telling somebody that your engine has a high intake manifold vacuum without telling what could happen from having high intake manifold vacuum will be like your doctor telling you that you have inflammation and not warning you that you're getting ready to take a heart attack what are the symptoms of high intake manifold vacuum high intake manifold vacuum is a symptom of too much advanced 
in your ignition timing. Now, the two trucks that I've been dealing with that had the oil consumption issue, I put a vacuum test on both of them. And what I seen was they are both higher than normal at idle. Not just not just nor during a DFSO event or a, a deceleration fuel shut off event. It's all the time. So if this is going on all the time and the engine's consuming oil, there's only so much oil that your catalytic converter can f can filter out of your exhaust emissions. That catalytic converter is only a filter. And it's a damn bloody expensive one because there's platinum inside. They're, they're thousands of dollars to replace. So this, this oil consumption fiasco is leaving more questions than answers. What's the symptoms of a plug catalytic converter? Reduced acceleration due to oil consumption. Only so much oil can be filtered through the catalytic converter. So you'll feel sluggish performance and reduced acceleration if your catalytic converter is getting plugged up. There's only so much pollution that catalytic co converter can filter. So the symptom of too much advance in your timing would be pinging, sluggish acceleration, sparking up. We have 23 technical service bolt in 2365. Which Ford acknowledges that we have high intake manifold vacuum, but doesn't acknowledge that it's a problem or give any clue to what could be causing this problem. So, as far as the ignition timing goes, that is controlled by the PCU. Now, the reason why the computer is looking for so much ignition timing is because it's trying to get a correct air fuel ratio that's through the O2 sensors and the mass intake to keep this simple the engine is trying to satisfy the air fuel ratio by advancing the ignition timing that's that's as simply as I can put that also a side note that's in this technical service bulletin is all trucks Manufactured after October 2019 had widened range dipstick installed from the factory. Look on your door jam. If your truck was produced after October of 2019, your truck already has the widened dipstick in it. You may not be noticing the oil consumption so much because Ford's overfilling the engine with oil. And now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button because. Coming up this week, we are going to show you how wide the range is on the F-150. You might want to know. Hit the subscribe button. I have the dipstick for my truck here, and uh, I, was, I was telling the boys earlier. Now, the dipstick itself measured a half inch longer than this one. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, i seen you had to upload a video. Uh, I guess it was your neighbor. Yeah. His, dip, his dipstick was just a half inch longer. Well, his dipstick was a half inch longer, but if you see there, the two two holes, they're right. three eighths of an inch apart. Okay. Well, they moved this bottom hole down to the bottom of the stick. What's the goal in it? Widen the range. So what widen the range means is it's going to go through about three quarts of oil before it gets to the bottom ad mark. So I'm still missing some. What's the goal in it? I guess uh, not to put an engine in your my truck. <laughs> this guy's garage. Like and subscribe.